Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle. But in today's video I'm going to give you guys five tips on how to get rid of cramps. And guys I am going to give you a little backstory on my cycle and how that whole thing was happening for me. But first um, I am a vegan so I do not eat any meat, any cheese, any dairy, for whatever reason, people still ask me those questions, but I don't eat any of that stuff. So I was an alkaline vegan, which I am probably like 95% alkaline now because I have incorporated some other vegetables and stuff that's not alkaline, but that's neither here nor there. However, uh, some years back, you know, I decided to go vegan and, um, just, you know, change my lifestyle or whatever, because it is a lifestyle. But I noticed that my menstrual cycle was changing. And I don't know if it was because the foods that I was intaking, because I don't buy regular rice. Sometimes I would eat it if I go out, but 98% of the time I'm eating wild rice. So last week, maybe, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I decided to do a raw vegan diet. I did document it guys and I did lose like five pounds and like a half an inch I think on my waist. But um, for a couple of years I've been trying to document my cycle and how my cramps were, like the flow and stuff like that. But I decided to do this video because this last time that I you know, did have my, my cycle, um, I had zero cramps guys. And I would say I would like to give credit to doing the raw vegan the week before. Um, but I do know that being a vegan does help. Well, what I would say cutting out carbs and sugars and anything like that and fried foods and stuff. But this time I had zero cramps. Now, <clears throat> I have some notes here for you guys because one of the things on my list that I want to tell you guys is an herb that I've been drinking for a couple of years now and I don't drink it every day I just drink it the week before my cycle and the week of my cycle so I'll try to start intaking it a couple of times a week before and then the week of it I usually drink it two times a day maybe um, just to make sure that I'm good but I'm just gonna get started guys so I my cramps used to be so bad to the point where I would just log off from work and not even care about even getting fired <laughs> because it was just that bad. I'm talking about like the chills and stuff and you know, just, just, just horrible. Okay. And I know some of you ladies out here are experiencing these same things, but I'm going to tell you what I did and I would recommend anybody at least try it out because I do not like pills. So if I can try anything that's natural to avoid me taking a pill, I'm going to try that first. So I'm just going to get right into it really quick, guys. And like I said, I am looking down here because I wanted to make sure that I grabbed everything for you. So like I said, the story behind me is just that it was just it wasn't cramps every day. It was probably like that third day and it just would take me out for the count. So again, I am vegan, so I did do some things differently um, the last week, the week, the last time, the week before my cycle started. So first thing I would say is number one is to eat clean. And what I mean by eat clean is no fried foods, no starches, no sugar. Try to eat raw if you can. And I'm only saying raw because like I said, this last time, I didn't even realize that it was on to be honest so um, stay away from sugar stay away from fried foods if you can um try your best to eat raw it's only through your cycle um you know what i would say the week before your cycle um, because that's how i did it so the week before your cycle try your best to eat as clean as you possibly can don't drink any liquor don't do any of that stuff and see if you notice a difference in your cycle when you are on it, you know, the following week or whatever. But just kind of keep track of it and eat the cleanest as you can the week before. And I'm, I'm telling you guys, you will definitely see a difference in even your flow of stuff. So that's number one is to eat clean. Try to eat clean. Take out everything that is no bueno for you. <laughs> and 
you know, go from there. So if you have to write it down today, I'm going to do this or write down, prepare what you're going to eat for the week. Um, I would say do that because that did help me too, because it's hard. You know, you don't realize how much you like hot food until you can't have hot food. <laughs> so I would say kind of write that stuff down, what you want to eat. If you guys want me to, cause I did document my thing. I'm probably going to load a video sooner or later, um, on the things that I did eat, but eat clean and just take out all fried foods, breads and rice, take all that out the week before guys. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is the herb that I was telling you, start incorporating some herbs, stinging nettle. That's the name of the herb guys. This herb, listen to me, this herb is like magic for me. So I recommend you guys trying it out try it out just try it out you need you only need a little bit and get you like a nice teapot um or something where you can infuse like the herbs and stuff in it and drink it through the week before you know a couple of days out the week but the week of like i said i would recommend you guys drinking it two to three times a day um you don't have to do it through your entire cycle because you'll notice that you're not having any cramps so that's tip number two drinking herbs and this particular herb is called stinging nettle and i will link i would try to link some um there's some instagram pages that you know people sell herbs but you could actually find it online on your lo local herb store i recommend that too because you could actually go in there and pick out all the herbs that you need so that's tip number two tip number three is to incorporate another herb called I always pronounce it wrong. Sasa Perilla. You have the Jamaican kind and you have the Mexican kind. Um, I haven't seen other ones out there, but those are the two that I normally get. Now, those are really high in iron. And I recommend also in taking that too when you are on your, on your cycle because you're actually losing blood. And you want to get that iron back in. And it's a natural way. Not an iron pill, just a tea. Drink a tea and... Guys, I'm telling you, you will be golden. I'm telling you guys. So that's number three. So that's two, two T's. I'm going to link everything below for you guys so you can get the spelling correct. Um, so pick up those two herbs and keep them in your home. I keep them on rotation here because one, I cycle. I mean, I have a cycle every month, right? So that's something that I want to keep in. I don't want to like run out of it since I know it works for me. So that's number three. Tip number four is a heating pad. <laughs> Now, tips one, two, and three should work. I'm telling you, it should work, it should work, it should work, okay? If that does not work um, for you, tip number four would be is to get a heating pad. So, prior to me even knowing about this herb, I used to just use a heating pad. And for whatever reason, it helped. But I was still in pain. I would fall asleep with it on my stomach. And it was just one dangerous because it's like plugged in <laughs> Two, you know it just wasn't something that i can i couldn't leave it on my stomach all day you can't go to work with a heating pad on your stomach you can't walk around your house with a heating pad on so but i do think that it does help with relieving some of the cramps in your stomach um so i would say keep that on standby um if you really really need it so that's number four is to have a heating pad on standby you need one anyway because it does help with like your shoulders being tight and stuff like that so that's tip number four and tip number five will be a hot shower and it's the same thing like the heating pad get in the shower let the warm water just hit your stomach i don't know what it does but it's loosening up something inside in my opinion because i always feel better after um but again tips one two and three I am almost 100% sure that it's going to help you. Now, tip number one was eating clean, right? But preferably eating raw. It's not easy. That's why I said to plan it out and see exactly what you are going to eat because it's easy to kind of like backslide, especially if you are not the healthiest eater anyway. If you are vegan now, you'll be fine. Um, well, let me not say that you'll be okay because you're still going to miss that hot food, but you still will feel it'll be a lot easier for you to, to just completely go raw opposed to a person who's not 
vegan at all because they have to cut out meat then you have to now cut out hot food so tips one two one two and three you know try that out and i want you guys to like when you try it out come back to this video comment i'm sure i'll be watching to see whoever tried it and see if it works for you and if it does work for you guys just come back to this video and leave a comment or something. At least I know that you tried it, but um, I definitely think that this is something that every woman should actually try because it is a natural way to do things opposed to taking pills. And I think that trying something naturally is just better than picking up a pill. You know, I don't even know what's in those things, but those are my five tips, guys, and I want you guys to just try it out and let me know if it works for you. I know a lot of women suffer from really, really bad menstrual cramps, and sometimes they don't even want to go outside. They don't want to go to the store. They don't want to, you know, it may stop you from, let's say, if you are a person that jogs around the neighborhood, it may stop you from jogging. If you work out at the gym, it may stop you from going to the gym. If you are a swimmer, you know, these, these cramps, in this cycle business <laughs> will have some of us jacked up <laughs> so um try these five tips out and like i said tips one two and three i'm almost 100 percent sure that it's really gonna help help you um but that eating raw the week before was was really a detox for my body and um i definitely think that that helped with the entire thing so those are my five tips guys if you like videos like this please hit that like button and comment below. Comment any other videos you would like to see. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.